Hey, welcome back. Um, my name is Joy. It's Friday. Good morning. <laughs> this weekend, it's kind of just a nice, chilly October weekend. I'll just go ahead and start the day off here. Um, we're going to be doing some inside things. We're pros. We're good at it. We have fun inside. We live inside. So I would love it if you subscribed for more videos. That always helps. Um, and leave a comment. Tell me what you plan on doing for the fall. This actually makes me really happy. I love Halloween. I do have a problem. I will be creeping on these bunnies all day. <laughs> Look how cute. I love you. I'm not going to adjust my tripod, so you're just gonna have to deal with this, okay? <laughs> all right, so I was really wanting to make some pumpkin cookies. I just got off work. I've been working super hard. So it's a little before five, but okay, yeah. So I'm gonna make some pumpkin cookies. I'll probably share the recipe. It's just a link to a recipe I found online and we're gonna see what happens. Okay, great. <laughs> Okay, so we're making the cookies, and Levi eats the cookie dough. What? <laughs> so I'm just wondering, who else eats the cookie dough? Because I'm... Uh, why? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I will talk though. Official review of these cookies uh, in the recipe. I think that the recipe could use with maybe half a cup less flour and they would be a lot better, but they're really, really good. And also we decided to leave them in for about 25-ish minutes. The recipe calls for 20 minutes. So yeah, I think they're good. Could be better. We're gonna eat them. They look kind of like poop right now, but yeah, I think if we have less flour, they'd probably be able to shape it a little bit better. I think we're probably going to end the vlog here. We're going to have a good Friday night. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay, good morning. Today is now Saturday morning. Um, we got some things to do. I think I'm first I'm gonna go to Target and then pick up some fall things, probably pick up a pumpkin, send her in the mail. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. Oh, we may go to Trader Joe's later today. We'll see. We'll do some kind of Trader Joe's situation if we do go. If not, this is getting cut out. You're not gonna hear this part. Okay, bye. <laughs>
Okay, welcome back. Um, so I just got back from Target. I met my sister there at Target because she had to go, I had to go. And yeah, so that was fun. It's nice to see Mia again, see Jimmy, I guess. I mean, <laughs> whatever. So they came by, picked up some extra pumpkin cookies because we made way too many. Now we're just gonna go ahead and get lunch. And I'm really excited. Today we're actually making another wine. We've been making wine for a few years now, actually. Yeah, it's been almost two years. We started making wine for our wedding. It's a really good option if you're trying to save some money on some wine for a big wedding. So we ended up making like, I think we made four wines for our wedding. And then last year we made one wine and now we're making two more. <laughs> it's kind of just a fun holiday thing to do. Yeah, we thought it was gonna be cold this weekend. Thought it'd be a great weekend to stay inside, make a wine. So we're making a Pinot Noir. And then we're also making a Zinfandel blush. So we'll have a red and a pink. Uh, we've never made either one before. The ones we have made before, I think we've made a Chardonnay, a Riesling, a Pinot Grigio, Shiraz, and Merlot. We've made quite a few before and we just like trying different ones every time. And yeah, I think that's a really good deal. I wanna say it costs about $3 or $2 per bottle once you make it yourself. So you save like a ton of money on it. Anyway, that's what we're doing today. It takes a lot of time. It's mostly just a big cleaning thing. You have to be super sanitary and like super organized about it. Um, but we just buy a kit on Amazon and follow the instructions. It's pretty simple, honestly. So yeah, we'll be doing that today. Kind of an all day project, but right now we're going to, going to get some lunch. Let's get some tacos. Okay, hello. Um, I feel like I didn't really do that great of a job of explaining how we made the wine. Um, I guess I could show you. All right, so they're in two big six gallon buckets. We just keep it in our living room. Um, it's just kind of this weird little nook that we have in our living room. It's kind of perfect for wine. Basically, we'll just keep it here for 14 days. We'll check it and then siphon off anything that is not a solid. So if there are yeast that die, it'll stay at the bottom of the bucket. We'll move it into a carboy, so a different little container for um, a secondary fermentation. And then from there we'll polish and pretty much the whole thing takes about one month to turn around time. So we'll check it in about 14 days, see where it's at. And if it's at the alcohol content that we want it to be, then it'll go to the next stage. So that's pretty much it. My hair looks like an absolute mess. I'm so sorry. Um, anyway, it's actually super easy. It's probably easier than you think it'd be. It's really just the investment up front of buying all like the containers to put it in and the water takes a long time. <laughs> I mean, yeah, anyway. So I think now I'm pretty exhausted. It's about four o'clock. Actually, no, it's, it's almost five. So I'm probably gonna read for a little bit before we start making dinner. Leva and I talked about going to Trader Joe's today. I don't know if we're going to. We'll see. We're just gonna see. I'm reading The Perfect Couple right now. It's everything I want out of a book. It's just, it's just what I needed, honestly. It's a mystery book and I love it. I really do. It's like a 400 page book. Uh, Joy, three years ago, would have never picked this book up. Yeah, I love it, so good. I don't read super fast. I'm a very slow reader. I've always have been and I still am. But um, yeah, I'll probably finish it maybe within the next couple of days. We'll see, we'll see, okay. I'm gonna go read, okay. <laughs> Good morning. Um, it's now Sunday and yeah. Right, why do I always forget what I have to say? So we're about to go to breakfast and also go to Trader Joe's. So I'll come back later, give you the tea on Trader Joe's. It's very early, I'm very tired. Okay. <laughs> Oh, 
We're back from Trader Joe's, had some breakfast, had a super bad headache this morning, got resolved, feeling good. 100% as some would say, 100. That's not my personality, I don't know who that is. All right, so got back from Trader Joe's. I figured it'd be nice to do a cute, quick little Trader Joe's haul. We really didn't buy too, too much stuff. The lady at the checkout kind of called me out. Wow, lots of pumpkin items, very aesthetic. So first thing that we picked up were these little mini pumpkins. Um, I bought two, I think they were 69 cents each. I think they were really cute for decor. Honestly, the way I hold this looks very suggestive. <laughs> and they're uneven too. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just hold the mini one, okay? So first thing we bought, two mini white pumpkins. They were 69 cents each. Trader Joe's has a lot of fall stuff out right now. Um, I picked up this pumpkin spice rebel blend tea. Uh, haven't tried it yet. Haven't tried a lot of Trader Joe's fall things. I think they have quite a bit of new things this year, but I'm pretty sure this one's been around for a little bit. Anyway, gonna try it. Okay, so honestly, it doesn't taste too pumpkin-y. It kind of feels like, just like a plain chai tea, but I don't know, it's nice. Maybe with like some oat milk in it, I think it would be better. I don't know, official review, it's good, um, but it kind of tastes like chai. Levi thinks it tastes very pumpkin-y, but I think it's just because of the branding. They're in these cute little triangle bags, which I love. And it comes in a cute tin, so maybe it's worth it, who knows. Okay, so you can't go to Trader Joe's without buying the dark chocolate peanut butter cups. We buy it every time, pretty much. Levi loves it. I don't. We also bought some dark chocolate covered espresso beans. I feel like I've been super low on energy recently and hopefully this will give me something to live for. I don't know. We've got a couple of soups. I got the pumpkin butternut squash bisque. I'll probably put on the screen whether I liked it or not. I've never had it. It just sounds really good. It has brown butter and sage. I mean, what more do you need? I believe I got the clam chowder. I don't like clam chowder, so I'm not really a fair judge of opinion on this, but We've had it before, Levi seems to really like it. If you like clam chowder, maybe try it, who knows. We got a loaf of brioche. Um, I figured it'd be great to make some grilled cheese to go along with our soups. Um, you really can't go wrong with a good brioche. Okay, we also bought a couple of frozen foods. Uh, the first one is a spicy pumpkin samosas. We've never had this, but we've heard really great things about it. Also got the butternut squash mac and cheese. Um, yeah, we're lazy people and we like pre-made foods. Okay, okay, we also got the pumpkin spice pumpkin seeds. Again, never had this. I'm gonna try and open it and taste it. Hmm. To me, this doesn't really taste like pumpkin seeds. What in the world? Yeah, I don't know how I feel about these. They're kind of still right. They're a little sweet and like not very pumpkin spicy. It's okay. We got the maple sea salt kettle corn. I again, never tried these, but I've heard really great things about it. I love popcorn, but specifically I love kettle corn. Big kettle corn girl. Okay. Yeah, I can get behind this. It's like a very mild kettle corn flavor. Definitely really salty and I really like that. Yeah, it's a good kettle corn. Okay, lastly, we got this autumn maple coffee. It's just a ground coffee. We love Trader Joe's coffee, it's really good. This is a light roast um, and yeah, I guess we'll see how it goes. It's good. Okay, bye. So we're about to head out, go to the estate sale. We've been very into estate sales. We've pretty much gone every single weekend. This one looks really interesting. There's a lot of interesting antiques. We'll see what we get. We probably won't pick anything up, but it's just fun to go and look around. So that's what we're doing. I'll be back. Hello, welcome back. Um, it's been a day. We've been gone for quite some time at this point. Um, yeah, we went to the estate sale. The estate sale was good. We found another one on our way back home. We've kind of just wandered in. It was great. Check out your local estate sale. So I think that's pretty much it for the day. Um, we're 
pretty much just going to eat and probably go to bed because it's a school night, guys. Have a great rest of your week. See you at the same time, same place next week. Bye. It's raining. It's chilly. We know how to do things inside really well. And that's our guarantee to you. <laughs> Can you like be done with the water soon? Oh, in like the bags, the little sachets. Sachets? Sachets. Okay, it's it's Dr. Chastin. <laughs> you know this hatchet of tea? <laughs> you know this Dr. Chastin of tea? <laughs>